What is going on guys? We are back with another video in our Salt Lake City Flyers Fantasy Draft Relocation Franchise. It is going to be week one. I said I was going to play preseason, but I think we're just going to let it roll because honestly, we know who we are, you know, we know who's going to start. We know, well, we kind of know. Uh, I think we're going to give Pollard the starting job back because everyone wants that. Uh, Hardman obviously deserves the slot receiver role. That's why we brought him in. Jalen Rager... There's a chance this might not, this man might actually uh, request a trade, and I honestly would not blame him because he's a great up-and-coming player, super young still, and he's basically just got shoved out the door. Hell, we might even see Albert O get a you know request a trade as Noah Fant moves in at the number two spot. Offensive line looks pretty solid, and then defensively, Ty Summers backed up by Levante David, who's still pretty damn good at the age of 32. He's got uh, 86 awareness, 85 speed, 86 excel, 86 hit power. He's, he's still really solid. I forgot to sell out in the beginning, I think. So, like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome PKR. Check out the second channel, PKR Plays. Actually, if you could do anything, check out the second channel, PKR Plays. Let's get to 2K subs here. Come on. Come on. Come on, right? No? All right. Uh, looking at the D-line, we have Noah Hall. You know, a lot of these guys, uh, they have a lot of potential, but they, they do have a bit left to go. He's got Bull Rush, High Motor, and surprisingly, Swim Move, which is interesting with 62 Finesse. Pretty sure Swim Move is a is definitely a, a Finesse-style move, isn't it? So we're probably going to trade Tillery off right now for maybe a fifth-round pick, which probably isn't much, but yeah. Well, maybe actually less. It depends on how old he is. Yeah, Tillery is 20, 25, so eh. We'll give them a, uh, a sixth round next year with Tillery for a fifth-round pick this year from the Bengals, who were picked... 23 all right i hopefully the uh the old ways are gone for preseason i would assume we're not going to be able to see them though right we aren't i don't know why that does that once you leave preseason it's like the stats are locked in but we did go three and one in preseason which isn't terrible do you need to add one more player to the roster ask these questions good sir coming off of a strong preseason and a good record a year ago how far can this team go this season it's hard to say for me, but I think we're going to keep this momentum and get off to a hot start. We'll see from there. We're certainly a playoff team. Everyone in that locker, uh, let's just get a... Yeah, yeah. Okay. 2%. Okay, dude. I mean, look at the funds. Does it look like it matter? It, it, it don't matter. Luckily, we don't have any injuries because, uh, you know, preseason's a rough one. <laughs> it's, it sure is a rough one. Ooh, rough one for the Cardinals. Josh Allen out for three weeks. I don't know how that's not more. Anything that has the word, like, illage in it cartilage it's it's a scary let's see if we have any upgrades though because of course we did have a lot of practices chris westry i don't think it's gonna matter for him but he is a six foot four corner with quite a bit of speed so he's obviously a little intriguing right you can't deny it he's he's definitely a bit intriguing so burke hervin's kind of interesting because he's got 61 man but tw uh, 20 higher zone coverage. His awareness is 7. Things are weird around here. We're just going to keep upgrading, though. Don't worry about the coverage, because usually you get some from Run Stopper anyways for some reason. Not today, unfortunately. Uh, what's his hit power? 83. I mean, it wasn't 83 before then. Monty Rice coverage way better. Block shedding, tackling, all that's good. So I think, I think we're actually going to go past coverage for him. Maybe we'll get speed. I don't know. Oh, five upgrade points. That looks good. Damn, I mean, it's a good upgrade. Jordan Love, I think we want to keep strong arm, right? I mean, he's pretty good across the board. Uh, our latest scrambler was an improviser or a scrambler. Let's go scrambler. We lose the scheme fit, but maybe we gain the speed? Okay, that was a great upgrade. Throw on the run plus two, throw power plus one, and mid plus one. That's nice. And he's inside dead eye with pocket dead eyes. So things are going to get quite interesting this season. Joey Sly, one away from that elusive 99 kick power, and it looks like he's not going to get it. He won't. We're going to go deep threat because release is important. Uh, it's always important to release. Okay, dude. Um, didn't really get it there. He got a juke move, which is nice because he already has kind of a quick, you know, the long, quick juke. I don't know how I can explain any better than that. But yeah, release is important, and, you know, didn't get it, but hey, you know. Nice little upgrade elusively for Jerry Judy. Ooh, we also get the power upgrade for Adams, which is nice. Nice upgrade for Anwenu as well. And then Adams, the power back. He's got an ability now. 
Trucking plus two. His trucking is now 91. Wh like, why? Nah, I'm fixing this. Th that ability's stupid. Now nah, we're fixing this. We get Bulldozer. Yay. It took me three tries to get that. I don't care what anyone says. That tank ability, if they bring that back next year, unless it's maybe a fullback, I don't... It's just so stupid. Like, he's got 93 carrying already. I don't care about hit stick crap. He's a tank. Big players don't care about hit sticks because no one wants to hit them. Usually big players, they avoid, they don't get hit hard because they're going to be taken down by the legs. Let's get the uh, the non-lineman done first and then I could just do the lineman on my own terms. And by own terms, I mean literally just like don't have to record it. <laughs> uh, Aaron Sterling... Two power move. That's a nice little upgrade. Voshan. Okay, so Noah Hall will upgrade, and then outside of that, we'll just do that real quick before we load. Probably should have went for a power rush there or whatever. He's yeah, power rush. Yikes! We need block shedding and power move, not tackling. I don't care about tackling. He's already 80, 78. Here we go against these Chargers wearing their special AFC, AFC, AFL uniforms. We are just basic which <laughs> nothing really uh nothing really to see here for being honest but it is the game that starts the season so uniforms are not i mean obviously we have to wear uniforms kind of how it works but good uniforms are not we're still probably gonna come out strong right oh is that jj have we played this team before because jj watt i don't know he scares me he just he just simply scares me they got alvin kamara I think Alvin Kamara actually, if I'm not mistaken, made me want to retire from Madden, which is, you know, that's always great, right? That's that's something you're always aiming for. Let's get the season underway. Here we are. Henderson with the return. Going to probably take this around the 30, and he gets it to about the 28-yard line. Quarterback for the charge is going to be very clear in a moment. It is Mr. I don't know who the hell that is. Matthew Strong Arm Regression about to retire Stafford. Right? I think I think so, I imagine. Also, I probably should have mentioned it, but yeah, no rebuild today. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, I know this is weird because there's probably people watching this after you know all of that happened. They're like, what the hell is he talking about? There is no rebuild tomorrow. Ian Jerry Cook with a decent ret I mean return. Decent first down almost, considering how old he probably is. Was he like 35? Old man Jenkins, left tackle, solid, left guard, solid, center, solid. The rest, not so solid. Receivers, Marquise Browns, great. Tyrell's probably on the retirement soon list. And they got a great running back. That's that's pretty much that. Who was their starting tight end? And we cut it inside, and he cuts it back left. Really good play by uh, Kamara, but greater by Burr. Looks like it's time to blitz, boys. Blitz those boys. Huh? And they are. Wow, what a block. Did you see us? We got destroyed. Stevens tried to run in. Could not do it. Kamara spins his way for the first. Could run a little man coverage. Of course, Burke Irvin is now a guy. Oh, my Lord, especially here. Burke Irvin's a guy that definitely needs to uh, needs to get a little bit of help. Oh, he drops it when it comes to man coverage. Coming with another blitz here. And they are going to run it, so it's a good time for us to blitz. Not that it matters. He still gains about a yard. We're going to make it look like we're blitzing, but we're going to be bringing four. Does it count as a blitz if it's only four? Oh, what a throw. Does he get those down? I don't think he does. A little bit of a wide pass. That was very close. But does it count? Like, we brought four, but one of them was a linebacker. And it's all it was kind of like to, an out, to the side. So it's kind of like an overload blitz, but it's only four. So it's technically base. I don't know, man. Who cares? Why do we even care here? Yeah, my boy, Jordan Love looking good. Let's start out with a pass. We see McCole Hardman down the side there. He's got a, a superstar on him. Actually, that's a superstar X Factor. Solid blocking there. And is that JJ Watt? No, it is not. It is Leighton Vander Esch. Keep up with that uh, that pass heavy attack. Metcalf to the inside. And this looks this looks pretty good. And there goes Metcalf speaking of, and he's gonna get a lot of yards. They got back-to-back catches for 29 yards. Can't lie, that uh, that team's coming at us pretty hard here. Why not the block Polly knocks over the middle? That's a tough one and almost picked off. I mean, we got that throw power. I'm, I want to test it. I'm pretty sure 
Love now has the second highest throw power in the league. It's the second strongest guy, and they absolutely gape the ground attack. Let's take a look at that San Diego or, oh, L.A. defensive line. Uh, Marcus Davenport and J.J. Watt, the inside not looking so hot. <laughs> Linebacker is actually pretty solid and pretty damn young. And then DBs pretty much goes for the same. Jeff Heath a little bit on the older side and Joyner at this point probably is pretty damn old, but the corners pretty solid. All right inside we have Hardman, but we're going to go to Judy who gets the break and gets tackled by Jeff Heath, but not until a gain of 23 yards. Strong stretch, strong freaking regret. If we put it back to the right, I mean, I still think that's probably the best case. And I can't, <laughs> didn't expect to get tackled there. We just didn't even break. I just was going to run. Paris Campbell surprisingly in, which makes no sense because I don't even see the hell. Yeah, Jalen's definitely going to be uh, asking for a, oh, uh-oh. And Paris with the touchdown. Yeah, Jalen's definitely going to be asking for a freaking trade because this is ridiculous. Gets replaced by Hardman, even though Jalen Rager had a pretty damn solid season. It's just we're missing we're missing the pure speed. Don't get me wrong, Jalen Rager's fast, but he's just about as fast as the other guys, and he's not nearly as dominant in the pass game as when it comes to, you know, making people pay. He just kind of gets open underneath here and there. But uh, Hardman, you give him an inch, and he'll take it a mile for sure. Summers, so you can have given an inch, take a mile. That's what the running back just did. And we are on the outside. I get caught deep, not paying attention. I thought I was on the freaking D lineman, but I didn't move it until after we started. I would say Jair got burned there, but it's not really his fault, is it? Come with another blitz. Monty Wright. Oh, there's a pick for Burr Curvin, who's got a chance. He's actually very fast. And if they don't have a running back or a receiver coming up, this will be a walk-in score. And he will walk in. What a play. Already 14-0. I decided to sim it a little to see what's going on. And they're just... They're just running the ball. They they have no intent to pass. Like, at all. Oh. And that is good D by Josh. Maybe even pass interference. Got a little grabby there on the, the point of attack. It's going to be a huge passing season. Pollard's in, uh, injured, tired after that return, so we're going to take that. Oh, we didn't even need to. I thought Jeff Heath was going to run on that. I went for the possession. Okay, dude. I can't remember if the, the Chargers were a good team or not. There goes McCole Hardman. Gains about nine. I mean, do we even need to run the ball this season? They're gaping us on the ground, but they have no answer for the, uh, the pass. They really have no answer. And Hardman drops it. I guess it doesn't matter who's playing the slot position. They're all going to drop the damn ball. We'll say we... Oh, we only need a yard. It is JJ, though. It is JJ, though. And they come up with a stop. It is fourth and one. I think you got to go for this. Do we try to catch him off guard here? Imagine getting a pitch play with big boy Adams. We're going for it. And nobody tries to block there. Lads, we had the numbers. They decided that Adams was such a big guy that they were... Oh, we're backing up. They decided Adams was such a big guy, they were just going to uh, to follow behind and catch him. But he outran him. But the blocks in front just gave up. McDougal might need to be replaced. We're going to have to pay attention to him. He, you know, His ratings actually look very solid, but there's a reason his overall is low, so I don't know. I, I think we might have to replace that position at some point. And we can knock it off the line at all. Look at Kamara slipping through for seven... Already nine carries on the game. Bring the players down. Ashton Davis gets trucked by Kamara. Wow. Definitely not a sight you see uh, constantly. Stevens on the blitz. Probably should have someone faster, but Stevens is a big fella. And Stevens and company get him. Good job by Sterling. We've been sitting with this heavy front for the last few plays because they just they don't want to throw it. I don't understand. This is such a boring game as well. I will say the play action does work. I did expect Sterling. I know it's Sterling. You know, he's a D-lineman. I did expect Sterling to go over there, though, because the right side opened up as well. Not to mention we were in a, uh, a purple, so, you know, there's really no reason for us to be in that situation. But here we are. You know, they're moving. Maybe should have went for the field goal, but it's one yard, you know. Pitch play is risky, but it should have worked. We had the blocks. We had the personnel. I don't know how good Steven's man coverage is, but... I guess we'll find out. I guess we won't find out. 
And I will say in this case, hey, the rookie Crockett with a tackle. Number 21 looks actually pretty good on him. Kind of athletic free safety. Is he athletic? I can't remember. I think he has like 91, 92 speed, which is, as far as safety goes, that's pretty damn fast. And Stevens does get a piece. Sterling gets the wrap up. We are seeing the game completely wipe away here. Like, I could see if it was like two minutes left, but it's five minutes left. They're just wasting the clock so we can get the last drive, basically. And they're not going to get anything on this one. So it's now a forced throw on third and eight, which probably should have been more like third and ten, honestly. Everyone back up. Come on, Miles. Come on, Miles. Get in there, pal. To the outside, and it should have been picked off by Josh Jackson. It wasn't. They will take three points, but we'll we'll give up three over ten, uh, seven any day. Or they'll miss it in Sim. That will also happen. What a game. That's a risky one. Pretty much did nothing there. I mean, it's another completion, but... Unnecessary risk. J.J. Watt destroys up the middle. Let's get a couple of blocks. Well, maybe not a couple of blocks. Another last-second Pollard throw. This one will gain quite a bit, though. Pollard's going to slip it for a gain of about 11. That's a bad decision. Oh, my God, Judy. How does he come up with that? I'm not sure how he catches that, and Hardman drops his, like, really easy one. Speaking of Hardman, that's a fast guy you got there. That's a really fast guy. GG. I do not know how people lose on all Madden. I do not know. I'm just going to have to put our uh, our pass block and run block sliders on zero, I guess. The only way is if we get insta hit. First and five, it's going to be now a second and five. If they don't convert on this, I do not know what to do to make this harder. Well, I think we're just too good. I think we're just the greatest of all time. And, I mean, they're literally gaining nothing. They gain one yard in two plays. They're sitting on a third and four right now. We're going for the risk. We're bringing the extra off the edge. And it's picked off. He misses the jump on it. Oh, gets destroyed on the cut move. This is ridiculous. Strong stretch with Adams again. He's not really going to get a chance to truck anyone if nobody blocks, though, so we'll see. And that is great blocking, guys. Got Noah Fan. I mean, Noah Fant is a very fast player, so we'll give him a shot. Judy D Oh, come on. What is wrong with the blocks today? J.J. Watt's not having it. Metcalf perfect for a first. Jerry Judy perfect for a, a jump. Ah, crap. There goes Love. Toss to the side. Going to be a punt, but you know our guy. He's about to get a nice one in there. And that's pretty close. To the 10. Okay, good good kick, good kick. They need to score a touchdown here. There's no question about it. You have to score a touchdown on this drive, otherwise it's a GG. We're bringing the blitz. He should have someone open. He does. And Tyrell Williams gets absolutely hammered. Let's change up the coverage a little bit, drop a little more back. The youngster Noah trying to get in there. Everyone's fighting for a piece. Noah finally gets off, but Sterling gets it first. Second and 21. All right, Sterling. Uh-oh. No, good close up, good close in. That was uh, that was all Ashton Davis. This time we're gonna blitz, I think. And our inside guy does not press, but maybe it's good. Holy crap, he one-handed it. And the worst part is, if I'm not mistaken, that's the tight end Herndon. It is, I think, right? I'm pretty sure, it says Herndon over there. I'm pretty sure that was the tight end Herndon, who definitely does not have that skill. And we miss hard on the truck stick. And he's going to be carried into the end zone for a touchdown. Okay. Good drive. Okay, Chargers. All right. We enter the second half with a 21-7 to uh, lead. And we do get ball. And we do have Hardman returning kicks. So this could end very badly for them. Nice little juke left. So we can definitely know, at least in the kick returns, he's got a quick juke, which is nice. That's all I wanted. That alone makes him better than, uh, than Jalen Rager, in my opinion. And he is, as far as a guy with his speed goes, like I said. Didn't have that much. You know, that's Adams. He's not getting anywhere near that, but that's a tough one. Oh, my. And I don't think he got the feet down. What an attempt. RPO, a hardman. This is a, a hard read. There you go. 
Gets a little touch. We read it early as hell. Kind of got lucky, can't lie. Got the play action deep outs. Hardman's probably not going to get open. But we do have that look. Very good throw. Jeff Heath kind of burned all day. Wherever Jeff Heath is, that's probably where we should throw the ball. I'm obviously not a Reeds expert, but it seems like a good decision. Also running away from J.J. Watt, probably a top-tier decision as well. And Adams runs right through the corner, but he has a guy right on him because, once again, the blocks are, are pretty 50-50 today. Quick slant look to Metcalf or a quick throw to Pollard. Play action shake off there. Made that linebacker jump or whoever it was jump right after Pollard. We tried this play once. It didn't work, but maybe, maybe this time. Quick throw. Is that JJ? No, it's Lean Vander Ash. Great stiff arm, but nothing really to get. A deep in cut for Jerry Judy. I think we're just going to take Metcalf to the end zone. It's a tough one for both players, and that could have ended disastrously. Could have lost uh, Jerry Judy for the season, pretty much similar to last year. Could see Hardman on the wheel. Throw it away. Can't. I, I think we had a window there for Hardman, but that's just, I mean, that's too ambitious, especially when we're up by 14. Green pass for Pollard. We're going to look at the other routes because you never know they usually do leave someone open. And who is that? Damn, got absolutely destroyed. Lost tons of yards. Lane Vander Esch, great read. He's a great player. Let's go halfback wheel. Streak Judy because, you know, they, they are kind of leaving those, those outsides a little open. We got to throw this quick. And Hardman again drops it, this time wide open. I hope he doesn't have that uh, that trait thing. Field goal is made, and they already took a sack. Second and 18, down by 17. If they run it, they didn't run it. Stevens, there is a hold, and it's going to be picked off by Josh Jackson yet again. I was wrong. They called it a defensive holding at the line. We must have, I don't know, we must have pulled his jersey or something. I don't know. I don't know whose jersey, but somebody's. Uh, will it matter, though? That's a real question. They do get a lot of yards on that play, but once again, you're committing to something that's not working, which just doesn't, I don't know, just doesn't make any sense. Steven's in there a little bit. Ashton Davis is going to lead that to be a third and one. Whether or not, uh, we're going to have to do something else. There's something, I think there's like some live playbooks or something that we can like put on, or I don't know what it is, but something hopefully to make the AIs not stupid. At least there hopefully is, because, I mean, right now, this is just doesn't make any sense. I, once again, do not know how... Oh, come on, give me a hit stick. I don't know how people lose on all that. All right, Miles Garrett. I mean, how many times do they want to run the ball today? They got some challenge they're going for. And we're going to blitz, and we're going to actually get just... <laughs> lads, 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 listen to me. How can I make a freaking realistic franchise when we have this? Oh my lord, this is all Madden. What is he doing? He's open for a touchdown. I don't like this. This game sucks. Honestly, it really does. This is probably the worst Madden they ever made. Holy crap. I like I I just cannot believe this game. And this is uh, another pick by Josh. If it wasn't for the hold, this would have been his third of the game. I get there was no one open, but that's just not a good decision. It just simply isn't. Oh, well, game sucks. Can't do much about it. Let's just destroy them. Let's make them pay. Nice little spin move in there. Hurry up to the line, maybe? Yeah, I know. I'm the one hurrying up to the line. Give me some stats. Knox is naked, and he holds on. I feel like even J.J. Watt's giving up. Can't throw it quick enough, and Jesus, we were hammered. We were absolutely destroyed there. A little weird move by Knox. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to accomplish. I had him. Yeah, that's just going to basically be a throwaway. You never know, indeed. Pollard's going to get it all the way to 36, which will be a field goal attempt if they've completed a single pass of over seven yards. In the air, almost definitely not, but just in general, I don't know. Oh, there goes Kamara. Gets the first down. Clutch play on third and six. Chance Josh Jackson actually gets a superstar next week. Well, at least an attempt at it. Actually getting a superstar development upgrade for a DB, specifically corner, is, is tough. 
We left the tight end open, which is ironic because they still don't throw it to him. I get the time was running out, but that press was filth. It might be the craziest press we've ever had. Like We were ready to take him downtown. And there goes Miles Garrett with his second sack of the day. I'm going to have to do something. I think, honestly, we're going to go drastic. We're going to just put everything on max for them. Of course, QB accuracy was already there. But I think that only just makes the throws accurate. It doesn't make them play smart. Tyrell Williams with 5,000 career receiving yards. Not really that spectacular, to be honest. He's like, what, just about 30 in this universe, probably? Look at Sterling. Sterling might become a force. He's he's kind of getting there now. Also, is this the year we have to re-sign players? I think there's going to be a few big names we might have to re-sign. I also think we should move Monty Rice actually to middle linebacker because Ty Summers just isn't the dude. He just He's not. He was the first one to get a dev up, I'm pretty sure, too, which is ironic. Or was it Burr? It might have been Burr, actually. Levante David, look at him. Kind of just... Oh, my. Oh, my. Ashton's... Decently fast. Yikes on them. Wow, T actually caught up nicely. That's kind of douchey to celebrate like right at the last second because you know you're safe. I mean, I'll even sim, see what happens. Okay, they do convert. I mean, they're moving the ball, but like they don't get much. You guys wonder why I don't use the linebacker. Like we just, it's already hard enough for the AI the way it is on the D line. When I use her linebacker, you know, they're, oh, Kamara, though, and a little spin at the end. That was kind of slick. And that's perfect D by, uh, I knew it was Jire, but I couldn't tell for sure. We'll kick an onside kick. I was not expecting this, actually. And I could not switch in time. And they're going to recover. But if I'm not mistaken, that wouldn't be a legit recovery in real life, no? 35. Oh, did it actually go to the 46? Oh, that was a really good kick. Okay, that's an amazing kick. To the outside, and Jair is going to last second recover. Coming with that last second blitzer. Yeah, you do not want to run one-on-one -on -one with, with Monty. You're going to get destroyed. We're coming with a hardcore blitz here. Like, this should be almost instant. An instant throw. You got to get back in the lab and figure out how to make it hard. That's what she's... Huh? Oh my, I thought he was going to absolutely gape him. My hit sticking over the years has been a little inconsistent. Can't get him. Down to the nine. I mean, if they were playing like this earlier in the game, like they actually show urgency here. This is so stupid that they took so long. And Monty Rice has got to pick that. I know that's what happens this year for linebackers, but come on, Monty. I, I switched. Look, X, right bumper. Good recovery by uh, the youngster Crockett. Yeah, they're going to need a miracle here for uh, for any chance. Get a little play action lift going. Uh-oh. Good play by Knox to get out there for us. From the 44, didn't really gain much there. Fourth and eight. Yeah, we gained like two yards on four pl three plays. Obviously, we did waste a lot of clock, and we're going to probably hit a few. Oh, there's win for days. That's a perfect kick. You literally could not get a better kick than that. It is perfect. I mean, they got 52 seconds. I highly doubt it, but you never know. This team thrives in this environment. Like I said, almost picked off for a third time by Josh. I don't know what has gotten into him, but holy crap. The man's been on fire. Good old soft takels. Soft shell takel. I ain't going to lie, that was a little handsy. Now we're coming with the zone blitz. And Monty, that is a really good throw, but unfortunately, Marquise Brown cannot hold on. We will kneel and win the game. There it is, the score, 34 to 20. I mean, they showed glimpses of being a good team. Once again, maybe this is a bottom-tier team. Stafford is only 78 overall. Kamara is uh, their best option outside of Marquise Brown, and they do like to run the ball a little too much, so it might have just been the team. Maybe it had nothing to do with actual, you know, because, like, on defense, Leighton Van Der Esch is a great player but he's not even playing middle, so he's not going to be in the best position every time. And then you have J.J. Watt, who played really well on the ground game, but you know wasn't super consistent in the pass, uh, pass rush game. But we did almost always block a running back, it seems. So, I don't know. I think we just have really good receivers now, and 
We'll just keep trying to make it harder every single game, I guess. Of course, uh, Jordan Love with a very good game. You know, high percentage completion. Yardage was a little kind of low. Two touchdowns, zero picks, though. Rushing was just poor across the board. Adams went five for zero. Uh, Fant went one for negative three. Uh, Pollard, six for 32. It was just not a good game rushing for us. Receiving, Judy was all right. Pollard was meh. Metcalf was meh. Uh, meh, calf. <laughs> Hardman, if he didn't drop the passes he dropped, you know, would have had a really good game. Still played all right. Knox was all right. And then Paris, the one play he did come in, played really well. Defensively, Ashton Davis with 11 tackles. Same with uh, Jair Alexander, Burke Kirvin. A lot of tackles today. Sacks, Miles Garrett had two. Uh, and Sterling had one. Ashton had one. Sterling seemed to have the most production, though, to be honest. Josh Jackson was absolutely locked down today. He was insane. One, uh, to be fair, Jire was pretty locked down as well. Uh, one pick for Burr and Ashton. Kicking, both teams missed one. And that's pretty much the extent of it. Of course, if you know uh, the way this series goes, we're pretty much going to just sit here because we could get a breakout scenario. We kind of kind of want to leave that for the next week. You know, it's kind of a surprise. Oh, did we get it? You know, one blah. Actually, should we? Now nah, we'll advance. We'll advance. We'll see. Did we get one? We didn't. A little early. We did get a player of the week, though. Who is it, Josh? It was Ashton Davis with the pick six. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, RG3 had player of the week in place of uh, Josh Allen. Okay, dude. I see you. But anyways, we're going against the Panthers next week. And the division did not do super well. 0-1 Seahawks, 0-1 Niners. I mean, hell, last season they were off to a really slow start. And then I think both teams went on a huge, huge run. So we'll see how this season goes. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome PK, and that's, I mean, I guess the second channel PK plays. Anyways, that's about it. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!